Yes, we heard from John Conyers, attorney out here at the gate of the family home earlier this afternoon. He is now using the R word, resignation, as a distinct possibility. He says he will discuss that over the weekend with the congressman. He says this is being driven by a couple of things. First, it's the second day in the hospital for Congressman Conyers. He's 88 years old, the longest serving member in the U.S. House of Representatives. Some call him the dean with that distinction. Also because there have been calls by other members of Congress for Congressman Conyers to resign. The attorney rejects that that's driving any of this. He says any resignation, if, that's a big if, if it happens, it will be on Congressman Conyers' terms. We're going to talk about what his future is. There's been nothing set as to whether he would resign, whether he would step aside. I would assume the congressman would think about whether or not uh, he still can serve effectively, whether he can continue to do the work that he's done uh, for more than 50 years in Congress. Three women, including Marion Brown, have accused Conyers of sexual harassment. Brown was paid a settlement of $27,000 in 2015 from Conyers' congressional officeholder account. Other members of Congress have said that is a major problem, but Conyers' attorney gives this response. Congressman Conyers couldn't have unilaterally made the decision to go somewhere, whatever fund, and get money. That was approved, not by the congressman, but by attorneys that negotiated this settlement. Next question. Attorneys, for, for, settlement. attorneys for Congressman Conyers? No, they were House attorneys. Monica Conyers, wife of the congressman, left their home this afternoon without making any comments. Reed also played defense attorney, showing a picture of Marion Brown with the congressman. He says was taken during the 2011 Barristers Ball after hours, saying Brown is not a credible accuser. He also says she got her daughter a job with a congressman in 2009 and 2010. The only thing is that is inappropriate is her seizing on her five minutes opportunity to get her name out there and be the face of a movement that she doesn't deserve to be the face of a movement. Now, if Congressman Conyers decides to return to Washington, he's facing a certain ethics investigation. The question is, will that start this month? Will it even be completed this month? And the attorney also used another word, expulsion. What's going on back channels? Is that being communicated to Congressman Conyers here in Detroit? If enough members want him out, they could vote to exp uh, vote for expulsion that's only happened a few times in U.S. history. Key, watch this over the weekend. Live on Detroit's West Side, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Jim.